We're going to move into the ordination service right now. God bless you. Thank you, Dr. Jim. Yes, so we'll continue with the ordination service right now. So everybody, can you all please stand as we worship together? Let's clap. Yeah. 
remain standing as we sing this hymn reverently and our pastoral procession will commence.
please be seated. The ordination is setting aside, recognizing the calling, anointing, and empowering a person for the pastoral ministry. The pastor is one who functions in the fivefold ministries. It is a function and not a title. The pastor can be assigned in a particular function, as in Acts chapter 13, verse 1 and 2, and can be reassigned or moved to another field. The lead pastor leads the church and sets the vision. He might also be called the senior pastor or bishop in some places. The zone pastors assist the lead pastor in exercising pastoral care in a particular geographical district. The district can be resized or realigned. He can be assigned to another district or ministry. A special function pastor can be assigned by the lead pastors to help and support him for a season in a pastoral ministry in a specific area, for example, youth pastor, welcome pastor, mission pastor, auxiliary pastor, etc. The auxiliary pastor supports and helps the lead pastors in pastoral duties when the occasion arises. Lead Pastor, Reverend Dr. Joshua E. Joy E. Sian Ming, Andrew Lee Wei Lun, Esther Chin Yen Hua, and C. Mei Yi have been duly endorsed by the leadership team of Renewal Lutheran Church as one to whom the ministry of a pastor should be committed. Like Moses appointing 70 elders and the apostle appointing the seven deacons to care for the people, the lead pastor appoints pastor to assist him to care for the sheep. It is not a title, but an office with active responsibilities. As a representative of our church council and on behalf of the congregation, I present them for the ordination to the ministry. Thank you. Joy E. Sen Min, Andrew Li Wei Lun, Esther Chin Yen Hua, and Si Mei Yi, according to the leading of the Holy Spirit. You are now to be set apart to the ministry of the gospel, to serve actively in the office of a pastor in the Renewal Lutheran Church. Hear then what our Lord Jesus Christ said concerning this holy office. As the Father has sent me, I am sending you. With that, he breathed unto them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. All power is given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you, and surely I am with you unto the end of the world. Hear also what the Apostle Paul said. Here is a trustworthy statement. If anyone set his heart to become an overseer, he desires a novel task. He must not be a risen convert, or he may become conceited and fall under the same judgment as the devil. They must first be tested, and then if there is nothing against them, let them serve as deacons. Keep watch over yourself and all the flock of which the Holy Spirit has made you overseers. Be shepherds of the church of God which he bought with his own blood. 
Now I commit you to God and to the word of his grace, which can build you up and give you an inheritance among those who are being sanctified. As you entrust with God's work, be blameless and not overbearing, not quick tempered, not given to drunkenness, not violence, not pursuing dishonor gain. Rather, be hospitable, self control holy and disciplined, holding firmly to the trustworthy message it has been taught, so that you can encourage others by sound doctrine and refute those who oppose it. Paul says, I don't know about you, but I'm running hard for the finish line. I'm giving in everything I've got, no slobby living for me. I am staying alert and in top condition. I'm not going to get caught napping, telling everyone else all about it, and then missing out myself. And now we exhort you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that you be mindful of the high office to which you are called, and how great a treasure is committed to your charge. Be diligent to bring those committed to your charge to the faith and knowledge of God, and to the fullness of life in Christ with his grace. As Paul says, by the grace of God, I am what I am, and his grace toward me are not in vain, but I labored more abundantly than they all. Yet not I, but the grace of God, which was with me. Let's confess together. Let us all stand and confess together this very ancient creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He descended into heaven and is seated on the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sin, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Amen. I call upon you now, answer these questions. Will you take upon you this pastoral ministry and faithful to serve actively? Therein. Yes, 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 with, with his, his enabling grace. grace. Will you preach and teach the word of God in accordance with the confessions of the church? And will you administer the holy sacraments after the ordinance of Christ? Yes, yes with, with his, his enabling, enabling grace. grace. Will you be diligent in the study of the holy scripture, instant in prayer, and faithful in the use of the means of grace and the sacraments? Yes. Yes. yes, with, with his, his enabling, enabling grace. grace. For you adorn the doctrine of God our Saviour by the holy life and speech. Yes, yes. With, with, with his enabling, enabling grace. For you bless to maintain the unity of spirit in this congregation, flowing with the direction, vision and doctrines, the unique trust of ministry of this church. Yes, yes. With, with his enabling, enabling grace. grace. Would you say it together? I will, I will flow with, with the direction, vision, and unique trust of this ministry that you are leading before God and the Lord Jesus Christ. And with His enabling grace, I do promise with His grace and help to fulfill the sacred responsibilities. Amen. Amen. They're now going to receive the stole, which is a symbol of the office and the ministry of a pastor. Joy. Yi Sen Min, would you come forward to receive this stone? Be shepherds of the Church of God, which he bore with his own blood. Now I commit you to God and to the word of his grace which can build you up and give you an inheritance among those who are sanctified. 
as you rest in him, you will experience his rest. So my yoke is easy, my burden is light. The anointing of the Holy Spirit for the office and work of a pastor, which is now committed to you to the laying on of our hands, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Would you pray together with me? Father, right now, according to your word, we now ordain joy into the ministry of this church and the body of Christ. We recognize the call of God upon her and we charge her today to be instant in season and out of season, to hold the word of God dearly, to retain the integrity of ministry and her fidelity to your word, to be uncompromising in this day to stand true and to be a light to this church and this community. Let her sense the divine approval upon her. Let her sense, God, this ordaining, this commissioning, this setting apart for ministry. Joy, I charge you today to follow God. And I speak into you that this is going to be a season change for you. That things will begin to blossom in your life. And I sense in my heart that you're going to be a fig tree that's going to begin to blossom. And you will be from you, your words and your ministry and your influence. You will feed so many. And you're going to speak as one having authority. Typically, authority comes from age and experience. But there is for you in your future, I see, a supernatural empowerment of God. You're going to speak as the oracle of God. And as you speak, supernatural gifts will flow through you. The word of knowledge will flow through you. The word of wisdom will flow through. Gifts of healing People are going to see the wonder of God in you. And you're going to sense from this day forward that your season has come. Amen. And with you, God is well approved. And I pray this and I charge this in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of Jesus, I release the gift, the gift that for ministry, the pastoral, the passion, the compassion for the sheep. And I release the gift of the Holy Spirit, the word of knowledge, the discernment spirit, the spirit of discernment and the uh, spirit of wisdom and also the gift of healings. <coughs> I release that pastoral uh, heart unto you that you have the heart for the sheep, that your heart is always after the Lord and at the same time for the kingdom of God and for his sheep, for the sheep that have entrusted you. And in the name of Jesus, I release the spiritual gift upon you. And the Lord is leading you into a higher level, a higher level. Therefore, be patient. But the Lord said he is giving you a new mentor. He is leading you step by step and your step and your steps are ordained by the Lord. Your steps are ordained by the Lord. He's living, lifting you up to that level, a new level. In Jesus' name, amen. And Father, we release upon joy right now the gift of leadership. Yes, you're going to have a pastoral heart, but you're going to have a firm leadership gifting. They're going to be able to take the lead. You're going to be able to speak the right word, and yet the right word with love, and you're going to be able to see great, 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 great oh, yeah. increase, great, great increase every area of your life. Amen. 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 Amen.
Amen. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present the Reverend Joy Yi. The stole is a symbol of the office and the ministry of a pastor. Be shepherds of the church of God, which he bought with his own blood. Now I commit you to God and to the word of his grace, which can build you up and give you an inheritance mm. among all those who are sanctified. As you rest in him, you can experience his rest. For my yoke is easy, my burden is light. I release you the anointing of the Holy Spirit for the office and work of a pastor, which is now committed to you through the laying on of our hands. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Let's pray. Esther, I place my hand upon you at this time, and according to the authority of God's Word, ordain you into ministry in this house and the body of Christ. I charge you to be instant in season to give heed to God's Word, to that you would live according to its standards, and that you would maintain fidelity and integrity to God's Word in your declaration, your ministry, your preaching, and your teaching, that you will be a light to others and an example of all, of the holy calling of full-time ministry. And Esther, as I begin to pray over you, I sense upon you there is a unique hand in your life you have the heart of a Martha and the spirit of a Mary. It was in both Mary and Martha. Martha held the house and kept it in order. But Jesus would always call Bethany the city of Mary. And God will give you influence. And both your servant's heart and your spirit to serve and stay in touch with Jesus will be an aroma. And from this moment on, people will see a uniqueness in your life. They're going to sense the aroma of God's glory and God's presence upon you in a unique way. And we thank God for that in Jesus' name. Amen. Esther, the Lord is saying to you, it's not through your own strength. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Therefore, the Lord said, do not look at yourself, do not look at your ability, but His. He's able to give you His ability. As you rely on His ability, you are able to do much more, much more than your imagination. Therefore, do not look at yourself, but look at Him. He is the one who have called Him. Or you he is the one that who give you the enabling power therefore the lord say rely on him you can do all things through christ jesus who strengthen you and his grace is sufficient for you jesus the lord amen father release impartation of wisdom upon esther even right now she'll be able to discern she'll be able to say yes Sometimes she could have to say no to people around her. And you're going to rise up in leadership, leadership, leadership. You're going to be able to speak words and season to people. Not seize a very humble heart that is in you. All that you wanted is to serve. You don't want any title. You don't want any position. All you care about is serving. God says he's going to fulfill that desire. But God, he could promote you this day. You're going to rise up in leadership. There are times in which you kind of uh, want to uh, go back and uh, just uh, not uh, take up the leadership. The Lord says, yes. God says, he will use you and you're going to speak life into people. There are times in which you will even give a rebuke. There are times in which you're going to 
lift people up higher away from mediocrity, that you go to this, able to impart the spirit of excellence that is in you to other staff around about you. Amen and amen in Jesus' name. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, we present Pastor Esther Chin. We have C. Uh, May Yi, can you come forward? The stole is a symbol of the office and ministry of a pastor. Be shepherds of the church of God which he brought with his own birth. Now I commit you to God and to the word of his grace, which can build you up and give you an inheritance among all those who are sanctified. As you rest in him, you will experience his rest, for my yoke is easy, my burden is light. The Lord bestowed upon you the anointing of the Holy Spirit for the office and work of a pastor, which is now committed to you through the laying on of hands in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Join me as we pray. Father, at this moment, and see may ye, we place our hand upon her and we commission and anoint her for full-time ministry and as an ordained minister and charge her according to God's word to be instant in season, to live as a light, to serve faithfully with integrity and faithfulness to God's word, to proclaim it and to always walk close to you and to speak God's word with confidence and assurance that if God said it, he will perform it. And I thank you, God, for her service I thank you for C. May's willingness to take this next step in serving you in this office. And now, God, I just bless her and I speak the favor of God upon her. And C. May, as I was praying over you, I sensed that you're like a plow. And through the years, you have been steady and the plow has gone deep. But God is now saying it will go wide. There will be more fields. There will be an expansion of your ministry. It will be bigger and larger than you can even imagine. He will do exceedingly beyond what you ask or think. Doors are going to come. Influence is going to come. You are going to be an extender and advancer of the kingdom of God and of Renewal Lutheran Church. And that you would see great fruitfulness in your ministry in the years and months to come. In Jesus' name, amen. See me, I see a vision of a treasure box. That as you pull out something, there keep on, there's things that keep on coming out. It's, it's like nonstop. And the creative, the gift of creativity is inside you. And the Lord said, draw it out, draw it out. So in times to come, you are able to see some more the gifting that the Lord has put inside you. And sometimes you feel that you do not have the ability. And sometimes you feel that you cannot go further. But the Lord said, his strength is upon you. And you see that he's developing, he's developing you and he's equipping you. And you are going to, he's, you are going to able to draw out even some more, some more, some more. And you're not only reaching to the children, but in a bigger uh, aspect, uh, even to the adults. And sometimes you even lay hand on those people. And the Lord said, be bold to lay on, hand on them. Not only your hand lays upon the children, but also their parents. And you are able to help the parents to how to help their children. And the Lord is, have given you special, special gifts. Therefore, let the Lord help you to draw those gifting out from you. Father, we continue to impart upon, and may even right now, to give a bonus. God says, 
You shall rise up in leadership skills. You shall rise up to be able to give direction to people. You gotta be able to mentor, mentor many young staff. You gotta be able to pour out your heart to the people. You gotta raise up many, many CMAEs around that have the same excellence in the ministry, the same desire to serve you, the same desire to make a difference in the world. In Jesus' name. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, may I present you Pastor C. May Yi. We have uh, Lee Wei Lun, Andrew Lee Wei Lun. The stove is a symbol of the office of the ministry, which we shall now place upon him. Be shepherds of the church of God, which he bought with his own blood. Now I commit you to God and to the words of his grace, which can build you up and give you an inheritance among those who are sanctified. As you rest in him, experience the rest, his rest. For my yoke is easy, my burden is light. The Lord bestowed upon you the anointing of the Holy Spirit, for the office and work of a pastor, which is now committed to you through the laying on of our hands in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Let's pray together. Father, as I lay my hand upon Andrew, this servant, and we commission and affirm his ordination today in ministry, as Paul charged let him be instant in season and out of season. Be faithful to your word, serving with humility. Always God, always looking to you. And what your word teaches, he will live by. He will practice and share with others. Even if others think it not popular, he will always serve in faithfulness and fidelity to the word of God and to the ministry to which he's been called and we affirm his ministry today in this church and the body of Christ. And Andrew, as I began to pray over you, I see in you that you are a Barnabas. Paul had to have a Barnabas, and show, so did a John Mark, and it was profitable and instrumental in ministry. You have the spirit of a Barnabas upon you. You're an encourager. And God is going to release a ministry of discipleship through you. You're a gateway to your generation. You're a gateway for others, young adults, to see and walk through. And they will come to know Christ and they will live because of your life, your calling, and the truths that you will share that you will be expand the kingdom of God in your generation. God, in the name of Jesus, use Andrew, and God multiply him, and we affirm, God, your hand upon him today. In Jesus' name, amen. I see a vision of a car, that the car, the automatic cars, and the manual cars. And there's a different way of operating it, different way of driving it. You need to, for the manual car, you need to change the gear, but for the auto, it's different. So the Lord is saying to you, Andrew, the Lord is saying to you that he's going to lead you. He's going to let you see the different. And the Lord says that he's going to let you to open your eyes to see which things function in which way. And that will help you in the ministry that you are able to speed up, you are able to catch up and speed up and do uh, with the, uh, according to the model of the car, the function of the car, and the Lord is leading you. Therefore, the Lord is saying to you that he is the one that gives you the strength, wisdom, and discernment. In the name of Jesus, I release the spirit of wisdom, discernment upon Andrew right now in Jesus' name. That with that discernment, that he is able to speed up, that especially when he drives the car, he's able to do the right thing when he serves you. Therefore, Father, we release that special gift upon him in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. 
releases special impartation of Andrew even right now. Not saying even as you delight in him, you will truly fulfill the secret petition of your heart. But I appreciate your sacrifice. You don't see yourself as making a sacrifice. You see it as a privilege to serve, but God sees the sacrifice. You could have done this or done that, and you didn't compare yourself with others. This friend, that friend, have this and have that. But your passion is serving the Lord. God really appreciate that. And the Lord says, he will indeed reward you. And God says, he is your rewarder. He made you earnestly seek him. The Lord says that you're going to be at a great impact, much more than all your peers that have this in the world or that in the world, because your impact is for eternity. And you're going to be able to see many, many people turning to Jesus. You have a heart to reach out to them. You never give up. You never give up. And because of that, I see in you that spirit, that passion, like Barnabas. Never give up. Never give up on John Mark. And, and because of that, you make a world of difference. Amen and amen. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you Reverend... Andrew Lee Weilun. Okay, while uh, uh, we're all standing, we're going to ask you to sit down and Dr. Jim will give us uh, a, a brief word of exaltation. For our ordination candidates today, who have now you've stepped into ordination into the ministry, there's a mantle upon you, a mantle of God's authority and God's approval. We recognize that. This church recognizes that, and God's word affirms that. And if you will follow God's word, God will always guide you. There will be times it will be hard. There will be times voices and convenience will tell you <clears throat> to do it your way or to do it a different way. But follow God's word. You'll never go wrong standing on God's word and following his principles in life. And for us, the church, the body of Christ, let me also charge you, as of this day, they now step into a sacred position in ministry. And the Bible says that we are to receive them as such. Ephesians says, they are a gift to the body of Christ. They may have been just an employee or a church member to you before. Continue your friendship. But I invite you, as of this moment, receive them as God's gift of one of the fivefold ministry to the church. Number two, pray for them. Pray for them. You'll never know the things they go through. You'll never know the heavy things that they carry, and they can't share it with you. They carry the burden and the heart of this city, this church, and the world. They carry a heaviness. They're going to begin to notice from now on when something comes on social media or a story or someone in the church happens to mention something to them. They're going through it. Before this moment, you would said, oh, I'm sorry, I hope it goes well. The difference is, the difference is, from this moment, you will never have a night in which you put your pedal head on a pillow that the burden of God's people and the struggle of their heart is not upon you. Never again will you drift off to sleep without whispering a prayer for somebody in this church because now you carry the mantle of a pastor. Pray for them. Number three, honor them. Honor them. Honor them for their calling and their sacrifice. They have said no to other career opportunities. They have had to say no to different things and things of the world and lifestyles and habits and, and uh, entertainment. There's things they've had to say no to to separate themselves. Honor them for the sacrifice 
they have made. Also, hold them up. Hold them up. You'll never know what they're going through, and they can't always tell you. But hold them up. In Acts chapter 9, it tells us the Apostle Paul received his conversion into the ministry, and he received at that moment his conversion into Christ, and he received his commission into the ministry. But some people did not recognize that. And there will be some people that will not recognize your calling and will not esteem that. They didn't for the Apostle Paul. But the Apostle Paul had a gift of people. And when others were trying to do him harm, the Bible says in Acts chapter 9, that at night Paul escaped the city and he went over the wall in a basket. But somebody, unnamed heroes, held the rope of that basket. There would not be the book of Ephesians, Corinthians, Romans, Colossians, 1st and 2nd Timothy. Oh, there would not be the book of, of Philemon. We would not have all of that in the New Testament had somebody not held the rope. We don't know who they were, but somebody like you held the rope for the Apostle Paul, and he touched the world. I'm going to invite you. Would you please hold the rope for them? Hold them up and esteem them. And last, I charge you, Renewal Lutheran, protect them. Protect them. Yes, for you see, you have now become the target of two things, persecution and criticism. The devil will bring it against you. Persecution always comes from the unbeliever, but unfortunately, criticism often comes from believers, and they will be buffeted by both persecution and criticism. And I'm going to ask you to protect them I stand in the ministry today because in my years and when I was growing in ministry, I had people just like you that protected me and insulated me with their love and their understanding. And because of that, I was able to grow and survive through the trials and some of the storms of life. I charge you, Renewal Lutheran, do the same for them. Protect them. And in doing that, you protect the ministry. Thank you. Take the authority to preach the word and to minister the sacraments to exercise pastoral care over the flock that is entrusted to you. The Lord calls you to be numbered in the company of his true servants and to continue to be faithful and steadfast, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For the Lord Jesus Christ said, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. The grace of the Lord be upon you, that it may always go and bring forth, bring forth fruit, and that your fruit may remain. Shall we all stand as it sings the Lord's Prayer?
blessing give you, the Lord cause his face shine upon you, be gracious unto you, the Lord smile on you, release you his favor, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.